What's going on guys? Welcome to our first Guilds of Ravnica draft. First off, I want to address something. Uh, in the comments of some YouTube videos recently, you guys mentioned that I was getting a little salty. And like, eh, I only come to see him get salty. <laughs> okay, sure. Great. But um, realistically, I try not to be salty. I, I definitely try to, um, to keep it to a minimum. And uh, I try to keep it positive and uh, just have a good time with you guys. But um, yeah, sometimes... Um, Rounds don't go the way I want, games don't go the way I want, and I get a little salty. And um, I do apologize for that. I know it's not the best viewing experience, and it's not intentional. It's not something I enjoy doing, and um, it is something I regularly try to work on. So hopefully you guys can uh, can accept that. It's a natural part of just uh, having emotion and being human. And uh, I'm not going to hide that from you guys. I'm not going to pretend I'm fine with them. Just yeah, I'm trying. You know, I'm trying to be real. So. Um, you know, hopefully if you guys, if that guys, if that bothers you, you guys can see past it and, and, and realize that 96% of the content is not salty and maybe the, you know, the 4% that is, you can just, you know, whatever. Anyway, I just want to mention it because there were a few comments about the Guilds of Ravnica Leagues, Guilds of Ravnica Sealed Leagues, uh, that went up this past weekend and people were mentioning, and I, and I know I did, I did get salty when I faced Nullhide Ferox. <clears throat> Underworld Lich, followed by double Nailhide Ferox, and I was just like, I don't know how to beat this. And people were like, well, you open Ral Zarek and Doom Whisper, how can you complain? And I'm like, well, I'm complaining because my threats were dealt with pretty much immediately, and theirs won them the game. <laughs> so, I mean, like, it was just hard to deal with. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, like, it got to me, and I got a little upset, and uh, it's rough, so... And it sucks because, like, you're spending money on this, right? Like, if it was if it was Hearthstone or, you know, something like Elder Scrolls Legends or other games that I play that, like, you know, you're not spending money to play the rounds, right? So the round goes poorly. Okay, I'll jump on another round. But, like, it's harder when, you know, it's harder when you when you spend money to draft or play sealed on Magic Online because you're literally just losing that money. But, you know, that that all that aside, um, I, I am aware of it, right? Like, it is, it's not something that I'm oblivious to. And it's not something that's uh, deliberate on my end, so... Hopefully we can we can uh, we can deal with that. Narrow Droma, Narrow Narrow Woma, thank you so much for the bits and Danny, thank you so much for the bits as well. Really appreciate it, guys. You guys are great. You guys are great. Midnight Reaper seems pretty good. Even if they kill this guy, uh, you still get. <clears throat> Also, I don't enjoy sealed. I feel like I'm very much at the mercy of the cards, right? Like someone hands you <clears throat> a stack of cards and they're like, "Here you go, build a deck," and you you just have to hope it's better than the stack of cards I gave this other guy, right? It's just a weird format. Whereas limited, I mean, you only get to open specifically open three specific cards, right? Everything else gets passed to you. You get to see the the rest of the cards and you get to choose, make choices. So it's a lot more within your control to do well in in draft rather than sealed. So if I was um, a little more salty at the sealed this weekend. That's likely why. See, like I'm gonna take this midnight reaper, and I'm 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 feeling pretty good about it, especially because of the surveil format, as you guys probably know. If this was the rare, I'd probably snap it up. Dark blade agent seems very good, especially if we can. Like, okay, so we're already black, right? And there's only two black guilds. There's Golgari and there's Demir. So we might want to go with those two. I don't think you ever want to not go with a guild because you're just gonna, you're <clears throat> you're just going to disadvantage yourself. You're not going to get any gold cards, any guild gates, etc. So, um, I think we can safely go with Dark Blade Agent and assume that we want to be D Demir. This guy's pretty strong, but I don't feel like giving up the Midnight Reaper. We could take this, go Celestia, and splash this. It also is non-token, so it's not going to work terribly well with this. Gruesome Menagerie is a card that feels pretty hard to make work. Like, you have, a, have to have a 1, a 2, and a 3 drop in your graveyard. I'm going to take the Dark Blade Agent. I think Dark Blade Agent is pretty strong. Well, <clears throat> here's the thing, Josh. Drafting is also about deck building, only you're doing it on the fly. Right? Like, you're choosing the cards you're building your deck with. I'm still deck building right now. I'm building a Demir deck right now. Does my deck need removal? Yes, yeah, so I'll pick up some removal. Does it need uh, bounce? Yeah, so I'll pick up some bounce, right? So, I mean, <clears throat> I think draft is just as much about deck building. <clears throat> Only you're picking the individual cards rather than being handed the cards. It's the difference of like... <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. Return a permanent from your graveyard to the battle to, to your hand. That's pretty good. Uh, that might be worth going into. But we also have Unexplained Disappearance, which is pretty strong. Especially with Surveil. Like, <clears throat> it feels like the difference in standard. Like, let's take a standard format, right? Like, if I hand you... 
120 different cards from all the standard legal sets. <clears throat> and I say build a deck out of these cards, right? That would be sealed. Whereas, like, if I say here are all the sets in standard, build a deck out of these, that's more like a draft in my opinion. Because you do get to pick from all the cards technically, right? Like, I have 14 different cards I get to choose from. Huh. This seems pretty strong. Is it stronger than Unexplained Disappearance? Maybe? I mean, it's very, very restrictive. I feel like it might just be this. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I, I don't I don't feel like going double black, double green right now. We have a pretty solid blue-green base right now. Return X target creature. Sure, that's fine. That's interesting. Return up to X target. Return X target creatures or creature of the creature of creature. So like I can choose bears and return up to X target bears. Interesting. I mean, if we don't take that, we're probably just taking severed strands, which I'm not super excited about. I think it's route. <clears throat> and Josh, I totally get that. I totally get that. Um, I want to take the route here. I, I think we might have missed the boat on on Golgari, but this pack is interesting. What does this do? Because well, no, I don't care about that. Vigilance and menace. So if I have two gates, it's plus two, plus O, Vigilance, and Menace. That's actually pretty strong. Kerwin, what's going on, buddy? <clears throat> I could just take another double page. I have a feeling one of these is coming back, right? This, 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 or this. I kind of want this Glaive, though. That seems pretty strong. Yeah, I'm going to take the Glaive. We just have to make sure to get some gates, like a Golgari Guild Gate. Or Demir Locket. No, probably going to take this one. Yeah, feeling bad about passing the, the uncommon now, but... Oh, this guy's actually pretty good, especially if we're playing the gate strategy. Alright, let's take this. Let's gate it up. Now we're going to find, like, no gates. 2-3, target creature gets plus X plus O and gains... Menace. That's not bad. <clears throat> it's not bad. I'm probably just going to take the Crawl Swarm. It is a sizable flyer. Z Drake, glad to hear it, buddy. I also was pretty entertained with that video. That video was pretty hilarious. I also like that there's two different arts for the gates. Like, that's that's weird, but I mean, it's super cool. I actually like that a lot. Do they Are they lining up? I can't tell. Either way, it's a good start. And we can probably play route now, because we are we're, it's a gate format. <laughs> so... I was, so I wasn't sure if Maze's End was going to be reprinted because I don't know if that's going to be relevant to the storyline. And obviously Ravnica is very he heavily lore driven. But I was wondering if another if another Rav, uh, like another sort of Gates Matter card would get printed instead. You know what I mean? Don't care about Urban Utopia. Don't care about Wall of Mist. I think it's either one of these. Probably the Bats. I don't love the idea of discarding a card. I'm going to take the Crushing Canopy. That's very strong. <laughs> this card's great. Like killing a creature with flying or an enchantment is pretty strong. It's a surveil gate format. You know what you know what to do. <clears throat> surveil is actually pretty OP. Like not only is it good by itself because it lets you like filter your draws. <laughs> um start to start just good. I mean this could actually be very good if they have tokens. I'll just take this. I think it's probably better than the four five. Um, not only is Surveil good on its own, but then you have cards like this that could Death Touch and draw you a card if uh, if you Surveil. Like, there's a lot of cards that benefit you for Surveilling.
Wow, I'm surprised this Dark Blade agent came back. <clears throat> I'm probably going to take that over the Muse Drake. And neither of these cards are exciting. I will take you. Only two gates, though. And one card that searches four gates. Blood Operative seems very, very good. Um, don't care about this card. If this was a 1-1, one, 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 I'd be excited about it. But... 3-3. Three, three. This card is actually pretty pretty busted, I think. It deals 1 damage to target creature training player controls whenever it attacks. So, like, you can pick off things like 3-1s, 4-1s, 5-1s, 6-1s. Also, Deadly Visit. I think Blood Operator might be better. Like, this card's very, very good. We do have Glaive for the Assassin. That's true. But if we only have two gates, like, we're only blocking three dudes. If we have one gate, and it's only a 2-1, two, two so it kills two guys, but it trades, so. It's either Blood Operative or Deadly Visit. I'm not sure which, though. Like, this card, just being able to get this card back time and time again is very, very strong. I'm going to take this, because I think we can find similar removal. Wow, a Tajik. That is interesting. I am intrigued. <clears throat> so we have three blue cards one technically one green card and we also have we can take a siege worm be pretty fine with that lava coil is very very good removal um is pitiless gorgon any good i actually wasn't super impressed by it but i mean i'd almost rather have another dark blade agent <laughs> just because like the upside is so high i don't know if that's correct but what's up moonlight I'm tempted to take the locket. I don't think that's the strongest card, though. Like, I think it's either Siege Worm, Gorgon, or Dark Blade Agent. Like, just being able to surveil and, like, trigger multiple of these guys. Like, it seems very, very good. I wonder if this is being underestimated or I'm overestimating. I guess we'll find out. Disinformation campaign seems good, but we do need more surveil cards. Uh, this card's very good, right? Plus one, plus one in Death Touch, and destroy target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Like, that's probably what we're taking here. Along with aggressively picking up any any gates in our colors. This information campaign is pretty strong. It can be pretty strong, but the problem is we don't have many surveil cards right now, so... I actually don't think lockets are that great. Four mana is not super easy to just throw down in this format. You may look at two additional cards and you surveil. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, I could care less about this. Surveil is so good on its own that, like, I don't really need to be surveilling one more. I do like this disinformation campaign now. Um, I think we're taking that. Statue of someone dabbing on Vraska. That's actually hilarious. And then they died. Uh, Rise Home Lurcher is actually a card I was pretty impressed with in Sealed. Just because if you have three, four guys in your graveyard, it's pretty, pretty big. One, eat some candy, Buck. Kerwit, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for the... I said what's going on, even though I did say hey to you earlier, but, um... Me and Mike are probably going to eat some more candy tomorrow. Because Mike is off on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So we will try some more then. I've been taking it slow, uh, because there's a ton in there. And uh, it's unreasonable to eat it all in one sitting. Sacrifice another creature, put a 1 1 counter on it. It gains menace, activates ability anytime you can cast this sword. That's interesting. Since when is a 3 3 4 4 that sacks other creatures only at sorcery speed? Either way, I think it's Watcher in the Mist. This card was great in, uh, re in uh, la 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 la, Dominaria. It's just as good here, except for it costs one more blue. Demir Guildgate. Seems good. One sounds good, Buck. <laughs> Kurt, are you back from Japan yet, or no? I like Unexplained Disappearance. It is a... Uh, oh, Artful Takedown. Artic looks very good, right? Am I just... Am I crazy here? Mesmerist is fine as a body. Unexplained Disappearance is great as a trick and a surveil card. Notion Rain lets us draw, but also surveils. And Artful Takedown is just really, really good by itself. I almost don't want the Artful Takedown, because I think this... It, it fulfills a similar role in the deck. It plays a, a the, the role of a Temple card. We also have, like, five different Surveil Matters cards. I'm actually going to take the Unexpected Disappearance. Unexplained Disappearance, rather. 
Yeah, you got. I mean, takedown's fine, but like, I don't think we need another four drop. I'd much rather have a cheaper card. So, could just take the is it guilty? I don't think we want a second crushing canopy, but maybe. Yeah, jet lag from Tokyo is probably no joke. I would imagine, or Japan rather. I don't know. I don't know. Probably anywhere in Japan, really. Doesn't really matter if it's Tokyo. I'm gonna take the is it guilt? No, no. I'll take the canopy. I'll play, take the canopy. I, I, if I've said canopy, it's because it's a. That's a. That's just an intentional joke. That's not because I think it's pronounced canopy. I don't think I'm ever playing Under City Uprising. I played it once. Uh, I saw someone play it. It was pretty good against me because you just get to fight something, and kill it. Um, but the death touch usually isn't super ma super relevant. Super, it isn't super matters. I'll take the as a guild gate just in case. Demir lock it. Okay. Sure. Muse Drake. I actually don't mind a Muse Drake. Uh, Wall of Mist. We already have Apex favor. I'll just take the Creeping Chill. I think our deck's looking pretty good. I have no idea. Chamber Sentry. Let's see what this guy does. Enters battlefield with a 1-1 counter for each for color of mana spent to cast it. Remove X. It deals X damage to any target. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. That's not bad, but we're not playing it for sure. Golgari Find Broker is pretty good. Like we can We can have another shot at playing this guy. I don't care about this guy so much. Oh, well, I guess Mike's like, I like the Imp. Interesting. I don't really want a 1-1 one, one for 1 that just gets to take something from their hand. I think I just want the Golgari Find Broker. I mean, being able to return, like, a Watcher or Gargoyle seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm taking this guy. This seems stronger. Oh, I like a district guide. Target opponent reveals their hand. I mean, yeah, so that's just coercion. Um, or you can choose a card from their graveyard. What is this, too? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, copy it for each other instant you've cast it for at this turn. Okay, well, that's cute. Well, these cards are super exciting. I'm just going to take the district guide. Oh, actually, another unexplained disappearance. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take the guide. I might have to sneeze soon, so I warn you now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I would definitely like another Golgar Guildgate. Or another Guildgate, on color Guildgate. No, I guess, uh, guess someone's listening. Crawl Harpooner is not bad. Can definitely kill X1s. So it's probably Harpooner. I do want another 2-drop, and we also wouldn't mind another creature. This guy's also very, very big, but I don't see us... I don't foresee us playing this. Do you mean big narcs? Because there's no P in Narcomoeba. Is that what you're saying right now? Is that what's going on? I'm really... It's either Harpooner or it's Arb... Boredom Elemental, which is huge, but we don't have any, like, tricks. I'm going to take the Harpooner. Oh, Demir Spybug. That's pretty good. I like this Disdainful Stroke. Hopefully something like that comes back, but I'm definitely taking the Spybug here. Um, This card seems really strong. Yeah, I'm just taking this. Uh, chance for glory. Another mythic. Creatures you control gain indestructible. Take an extra turn, and then you lose. Okay. Oh, I actually like Passwall Adept. Passwall Adept was responsible for quite a few victories. Oh, Demir Guildgate. That's perfect. I'm not going to take another disinformation campaign. Um, it's kind of a do-nothing. So I'm going to take the other Guildgate so we can increase our Gatekeeper and our... Our glaive. Molder Hulk. 
Hmm. Return a land from your... 6-6 six, 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 six for... I'm just going to take this because it's the best card in the pack for us, but I don't know if we're playing it. If you guys watch the set review that's on YouTube, Rob was pretty high on this guy, but... I don't know. Oh, wow. The Pilfering Imp came back. So did the Guildgate. All right. Well. Yeah, the Hulk definitely feels like a trap. Like, I'm going to pay, like, six mana for a 6-6. Six, six. Then it's, it's it's average. I mean, that's that's a fine rate, but... <clears throat> Is four Guildgates on-color Guildgates enough? I don't know. Do we just want the Imp? I don't know if Dazzling Light's good in any deck. I mean, the Surveil is nice, but... Actually, maybe it is good. This actually could be good. Because if you think about it, like, if we have three Dark Blade agents, they block one of them. Like, say they have a 3 2. They block the, with a 3 2. We give it negative 3. We uh, give it Death Touch. We give it the other ones. Uh, is Thousand Year Storm worth anything? I doubt it, right? Eh, it's 50 cents. I'll take that over the Dazzling Light that I'm not going to play. Narco Amoeba. I'll take that. I wonder if Narco Amoeba is worth anything. That would be pretty funny. It is a four of. It is worth 0.02 cents. Child of Night? Alright, I'll take a Child of Night. Um, yeah, this guy's also fine. What is this? O4 Defender with Reach. It gains an Yeah, okay. That's about enough. I've seen all I need to see here. Is this playable? Can't be blocked more than one creature. Target you get some Vigilance and plus X for X the number of creature cards in your graveyard. I don't know why I read that like I didn't know what Undergrowth did. Alright, Imp is going back here. What's going on, OMG Zoro? Oh, OMG Zoro. Um, our deck actually looks very good. I mean, I have no idea. It looks like it looks good. We have to make one cut, huh? This is the last card that we, we picked up. Ah, it's fine to cut, I guess. Bring in you. We have a bunch of good sideboard cards, too. We have Crushing Canopies. Uh, Creepy Chill is not a sideboard card. We're bringing this guy in. If they have bombs, if they have tokens, we can bring this in. Let's sort by color. All right, so we have nine black sources, six blue sources, and six green. Five, six, and eight, and 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, we definitely have way more black and blue than, than green. So I'm actually going to cut one black, add one of these. Six sources of green is rough because we want two of them for this, but we do have circuitous route, circuitous route and uh, district guide. Uh, I, I can't see any reason to play the locket here. You saw someone kill with like? How did you kill? How do you kill with a locket? It only draws you two cards. Five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, eight, six, seven, eight is pretty good. Yeah, we can. We'll make it work. Worst case scenario, we just don't get to play this for a little bit. I'm pretty sure having two green is not going to be a real big issue. And it's the only double green card, so. All right. Of course, we go Sultai the very first draft. But I also think Demir is one of the best uh, guilds in the format. This actually seems fine. If we hit any black, we can uh, we can play two cards, and then we have circuitous route on four. And we did it. We are very good at this game. I want to play this in case we just happen to draw a spy bug. I don't know if we're just going to run. We're probably going to run harpooner out there. We're probably not going to try to hit a. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is fine. No legal targets. No. What up, beer man? Good to see anybody. I will not block, believe it or not. I see. Oh, fashionable late to the party. That's actually fine. We can go this guy, play a gate, this guy, play anything else. I think we're just attacking here. This is a pretty, pretty unfortunate situation. Yeah, I think it's still yet to be determined whether um, the the gates coming to play tapped are too big of a hindrance. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like a big drawback. Like, not being able to play my 4-drop, whether it's this guy or this guy, is pretty big. But I think you just want to double up on the cards, the, you know, the, the casting costs, so that you can have, like, two, three drops to play back-to-back -back or... I'm tempted to block here. We don't have much surveil in hand. I don't really see a reason not to block this. This card is actually surprisingly hard to deal with now that we have, uh, now that it's a 3-2 first strike. Which is pretty comical. Yeah, that's actually fine. Oh, well then. <clears throat> um, huh. Now we're just playing this. So we can get Golgari Guildgate, and we have, yeah, we'll just get double Golgari Guildgates. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. Um, one, two, three, four, we'll have six mana at least. Seven if we draw another land, so we can go Disinformation campaign into this, if they play a guy. Well, that is uh, interesting. Let's get rid of their last card, I guess. Ooh, all right, a removal spell. Seems good. <sighs> With power two or less. All right, so we're taking six here, which is unfortunate. Um, can play Glaive and just play Demir Guildgate, I guess. That's what we're doing here. Hope we don't die. If this guy gets double strike, it's pretty rough. Don't top tick a gate, I guess. They're gonna draw two. One of them will be a gate, they'll play their gate. Not a gate. We will live to see another day. Hmm. We can also play this and then replay disinformation campaign, which is pretty nice. Three, four, five. All right. Oh, Rhizome Lurcher seems very good here. Um, put into the graveyard. Put into the graveyard, put you on top. This guy. Return you, play you. Discard. Discard the four five flyer. So I imagine we're just dead here. They're probably gonna like plus two, plus two, or plus three, plus three, or just kill this guy and kill us. <sighs> yep. They never don't have it. So this is where I'd get salty. It's fine. Totally fine. I want to bring in Child of Night. Um... Died to burn. That was bad. Correct. 
This is the progression of things. This card was very good. I mean, we got a 5-5 five, five out of it, and uh, we got to return our disinformation campaign, so I'm, I'm pleased with the way that went. Um, I wonder if Wall of Mist is good, too. Yeah, I'm actually wondering if, like... Yeah, I like that. Um, let's see what we're taking out. Crawl Harpooner is probably not great. They have a bunch of... It's probably fine, but not great. And this is the 1-3 is probably very good. Um... Everything else seems good. I'm just going to submit like this. We already have District Guide, Circuitous Route. Oh, uh, we do not have a Mephetic Vapors. It's also an uncommon, so I don't think it's... I think it's an uncommon, at least. It is common? Wow. That's weird. I did not expect that card to be common. I will mulligan. I will keep. Uh, we're going to put you on the bottom. Sarcastatron, what are you, what's going on, buddy? We are guilds of Ravnica drafting. Like you do. Oh, that's a good draw. Wall of Mist, getting it done. This is a good curve. Shut up and take my money. No salt, no salt, only happy. Neon Tokyo Rain, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Working on it. We're working on it. We're getting through it. Oh, they missed a land drop. So we're going to win the game that we have the ultimate, the awesome draw when they miss a land drop. That is unfortunate. Sorry, I hit the caps lock. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I can't tell if it started raining or if it was just like a random noise outside. It's very hard to tell. Uh, we saw a Righteous Blow, so I'm actually going to not risk just throwing this guy out there into a Righteous Blow. I would much rather have this guy thrown out there. We Also, next turn we can make this guy unblockable. So... Keeping this guy on board, if they want to kill all the creatures I play after this guy, seems fine. That's a good draw. Oh, it does look like it's raining, actually. How nice. It's very light. Like, it's a very light rain that you can just kind of see. Circuitous Route is pretty insane. Like, being able to search for two gates is no joke. Uh, let's get double gil double Golgari Guild Gate again. We have two blue. Went undefeated with Demir splashing green. That's called Soul Tide, buddy. Had the six six trample float boy open promo trophy and foil founder. Good lord, man. Good lord. Good lord. That is a. Uh... Let's keep getting in there. So next time we can make multiple things unblockable, which is nice. They might be just saving the Righteous Blow for this guy, but now this is a 3-1 unblockable, so you kind of have to kill it at some point. Right? Don't be ridiculous. Fascinating. Don't really want to... I think we can actually attack with both now. Because we have this. So, like, one, two, three. Um, so, if they want to kill this guy, we can actually just concoct it back. And we just still draw a card for it. They 100% have it, right? They have seven cards. What? Oh. Huh. I was not expecting that. I figured seven cards is the, uh, yikes. All right. Well, our draw was pretty insane this game. I think our, I think our deck is finally positioned against them. Also, now that we saw the healer's hawk, I'm tempted to bring this guy back in because I think it's just a great two drop. I take out the lurcher. It's kind of just a, it's kind of just a boring dude. Muse Drake also good at blocking. 
I think that's fine. Lurcher actually probably better than Crawl Swarm. I like that better than Crawl Swarm, but I guess it's too late. I don't love Glaive. Well, it doesn't love you either. If we hit a green, we can play this. If we hit a black, we can play any of these. I'm going to keep this hand. We're on the draw. If we top deck a Golgari Guildgate, I'll be pretty thrilled. And I won't complain about anything ever again. That's a lie. We didn't hit it. We actually hit a double black card, which is pretty much the exact opposite of what we were looking for. So... Look at that hunted witness. Thank you. The Mike Hypothesis. Welcome back, buddy. Thanks so much. That was a good draw. That was a great draw. That turns on so many things. So many things are turned on. Regular forest would also be nice. I'll accept all these things. Regular forest, regular swamp, whatever. I'll take it. Child of Night against the... Oh, and they did not play anything there. Attempt to just attack here. Yeah, this is fine. We gain two, they get a 1-1. One, one. We draw a card. I'm game. Yeah, let's do that. I also wanted to draw the card because we don't have many things to do right now. Like, we want to hit land drops, and we only have one land, so... Ba -do 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 -do. Two flo this is a soldier? I actually forgot this was a I forgot this wasn't Doom Traveler exactly. They want me to block so this guy can die. But here's the thing, like if I attack, I'm gonna it's gonna die anyway. So I mean there's no way around righteous blow. So I might as well just get the card on my turn. Like, we already drew two cards off of it, which is pretty strong. I am tempted to unexplained disappearance on uh, our upkeep, so we can, s we can try to hit a land drop. Also, we can bounce whatever they play to block, and then we'll still get a draw from Surveil. If this guy survives. I don't think it's going to now. Was playing my local game store this weekend, and the guy that lost to me through the match through the match was opponent and acted like a shithead about it. I reported it to the judge, and the judge said, "Yeah, he's like that a lot. Not much we can do." Uh, you can probably ban him from the store if he doesn't change his behavior. So here's my thing about being salty on Magic Online, right? Um, you guys can complain about it in the YouTube comments or in the chat or whatever, but like, I don't take it out on my opponents. You know what I mean? Like, I'm never like, "Hey, wow, you're so lucky. I wish you were, you know, eat shit, whatever." You know, like. I'm never going to take it out of my opponents. I'm going to get mad for like five seconds, ten seconds. I'm going to I'm going to vent about it. It's going to take a minute, and then I'm going to move on. And then we're going to play a match, and we're going to have a good time, right? It's. I'd like to think anyone complaining about my saltiness should realize that. I'd like to think they should realize. That. I don't think that sentence made sense, but either way, bounce this guy. We get to surveil. Um, put you in the graveyard. Hit a black. We technically did, I guess. Hit another land. If we hit a swamp here, we're probably just playing Blood Operative. We did not, but that's actually good because we can play that next turn. Yeah, that was a solid turn. I played this like maniac guy who just talked about the board position of strategy all game was ranting on about what I should do during my turn. I got super flustered and misplayed. Yeah, that doesn't sound good like good times. People being salty about people being salty. Where does the cycle end? Where does it end? What is the end? Okay, this is a lot of floaty boys. I guess we just play this guy. We could also play Blood Operative to try to start... We can also bounce this guy and play Blood Operative this turn. That seems good. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Um, graveyard. Eh. 
And we get to draw again. Okay. Um, sure, we'll play that. Play this guy. Exile the Hunted Witness, I guess. I mean, we're taking three, we're going to eight, but then we have Blood Operative on board. We know that they have the two, three in hand, so. And we have one, two, three, four. We have four creatures in the graveyard already. Stop asking me to, to block. He's just a floaty boy. I said, see you later, boy. I can't block. Yeah, you can block his attack. Oh, the floaty boys we can't block. Well, looks like them old floaty boys are at it again. And then bird. No, two one ones. Okay. Boy, I do wish I had the negative one, negative one card. That card seems busted at common, right? That card seems busted. I mean, I will actually trade here because we're going to surveil. I don't know if we're going to pay three life for it, though. That's the problem. That's interesting. Hmm. One, two. Wow. Hmm. We can also make it unblockable. One, two, three. But then what, do we, what else do we do? I guess we can make it unblockable and kill this guy. And then we have pretty good blocks. I think Watchers, maybe we just don't get in there with this guy. Maybe we just play Watcher and keep up the, uh, yeah, hold on. We're going to do this. One, two, three, four, five. This is the Watcher in the mist. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Um, hmm. Both of these were fine. One, two, three, four. And then we have three. We don't have actually, ooh, it's rough. Return a permanent. Actually, this is pretty good. We'll put this on top. And we can put the forest in the graveyard. So they just chump block here, but we gain f a million. F a million. And also, we can actually give it plus one, plus one. And death touch if we want to save it. Which I'm fine with. Oh, yeah. This is actually better. Um... They have one card in hand. Yeah, we're just going to cast uh, Status. Save our guy. Still gain three. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we know one of the two cards in their hand, which is the 2 3 floater. I feel like this is good. Plus, next turn we know we're drawing the guy that gets a creature back, so we can actually just get Blood Operative back. One of the two cards. Seems good. Well, I guess we're getting that back now. That seems better for us. Let's get you back. And they're still at 24 life, which is pretty ridiculous. I actually don't know how they're... I am sad. I has a sad. Went from feeling really good about having uh, Watcher in the Mist on board. Really? What is this? Stop top decking things. Just draw lands. At a certain point, we're just going to be priced out of getting this guy back. Which is pretty sad. Sure. So we block here. We take four. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Yep, felt like we were in great shape last turn, and then they just had uh, toughness four or greater kills this guy. God, I can't even get this guy back, actually, because we just die. Um, graveyard. Put the bats on top. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Actually, I guess we can draw a card here, right? 
They have no ground, guys. No point in attacking with you. Something good. Oh, we knew it was the bats. Never mind. <laughs> like, what's it going to be? But the sad thing is we've drawn significantly more cards than they have. And we actually have to hit an answer here. We block here. We go to two. We go to one. And then we block here and go to dead. So I guess we have bats. I guess we're just hoping they don't hit floaty boys. Or they probably just have the kill you spell. So. Yeah. Block you. See if we're dead. Get two cards. Just gonna route here. Like, it's whatever. I mean, like, if they have something, they have something, right? Guildgate. Swamp. Whatever. I want to be able to do all the things, so I feel like we're dead. This feels bad. Why do you slow roll the guy? I have no lands. Come on, man. Wait, what? Why didn't they kill me? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait, what? If this is a creature, we can get Crawl Swarm back and actually have a shot here, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have four guys unblockable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How would they have killed me? We had two flying blockers. They have three flying creatures. I'm at one. Oh, they just played this guy, didn't they? Oh, I thought they had this. I thought this guy was. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought they played I thought they just played this guy. I was like, what? Why didn't they just kill me? This guy just came down. Yeah, that makes sense. Um Well. This is a pretty unfortunate draw. We actually search for two lands so we can actually minimize four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. Thirteen lands. Fourteen lands. <sighs> I mean, if we, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We'd have 12. We can make four creatures unblockable. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can make enough creatures to do 11 damage unblockable. Um, definitely don't have it here. <clears throat> we didn't play a land, but it's, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Don't think it makes a difference. Oh, they also have lifelink, so like, yeah, this is just this is just the last ditch effort. Hope they mess up, but it's it's not gonna happen. We basically lost. Like, if this was any creature, we could have played crawl swarm. If it was, if we had any creature with three power on the board, we could have made four guys unblockable and killed them. Like, there's, um. We cannot get 12 damage through. We have three, six, nine, and then we have no other three power guy. We can only make four guys unblockable so we can get 11 damage through. So you can take three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 
Yeah, this is all they need to block, and then just kill us on the crackback. Yep, that's cool. I mean, they had to have a literal another flyer, and we had to literally not hit a creature so to get back cross swarm. We had to only have um, eleven power unblockable instead of twelve. Like it's that's what frustrates me more than anything. Like this this card would have actually been amazing that turn. That's what frustrates me about Magic more than anything. It's like there that like six six different things have to go right for the opponent um, in order to decide an entire match, and they then they do, and you're just like, okay, well, what can you do? Yeah, this hand seems fine, despite the two islands that will never let us cast Fine Broker, but... One one death touch, so basically typhoid rat. Oh, uh, we actually don't want to cast this on turn four ever, probably. So yeah, I mean that's that's a fine point. I am tempted to trade here, though. Like, this card kills our best ground guy, which is pretty nice for them. And we have multiple ways of getting this back. Well, no play here, so Guildgate it is. And next turn we can... I think we have one Guildgate left in the deck, so that's... Yeah, I like a lot of this Guildgate art. Dead weight in the graveyard, huh? Okay. Let's route it up. Golgari Guildgate. And I guess a swamp is fine. So next time we can concoct. Actually, I like playing this and then getting it back with concoct at some point. That's that's a lot of value. When you expand your commander Frank, so I can alt out my steal all the stuff command. That sounds miserable. Don't do that. Uh, might do some commander this week. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play this guy and this guy. We're probably definitely playing this guy. I would love to steal this, but... Uh, alas. Alas, nay. Alright, so... Equipping this gives us plus four, plus... Plus four, plus oh, vigilance and menace. It's pretty good. That's fine. I could also steal that guy, make it a 5-3 with Menace and Vigilance. Do we have anything to surveil? Yes, we do. But I don't know if I want to use that just yet. Just you wait. My name is Alexander Hamilton. So six... We're definitely equipping. That's faux show. Oh, wow, you just take six here. That's impressive. Did we open a trophy? Not yet, boys. Not yet, unfortunately. Lost our first round to uh, 
Lucky Flyers. Lucky, 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 lucky. No blocks, I'll take four. Is this any graveyard or just yours from your graveyard? God, I hate I hate your graveyard. I like any graveyard. I'm a bigger fan of that. Don't be a land. I kind of like stealing the one three because this is a reasonable clock here. But I also they have like a ton of guys. They can probably just kill us if we don't if we don't take this. It's just so underwhelming. Surveilling, getting this guy back, and making this guy unblockable is not terrible. But it's actually a two-turn clock. Huh. We can also play Find Broker. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. We don't have enough mana to do everything, though, so we'd probably just use the five. Yeah, I'm going to... I did install the Demir Switch, actually. Concoct. Um, Dark Blade Agent again. Crawl Harpoonist is actually great. Um, put you in the graveyard. Put you in the graveyard. Put you on top. Let's get back. Pass Wall Adept. Make you unblockable. So what do we know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. They have seven damage on board and we have a blocker. I don't think they're going to alpha here. Nor do I think they're going to give us two cards. We get to draw the Crawl Harpoonist. Yep, that seems fine. All right, well, we have Lethal on board. My name is Alexander Hamilton, and there's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. Oh, that's sad. I mean, I still have this guy, so if we draw a land, we can actually get her done. Oh, I see. Land. Dang it, not a land. Dang it! One, two, three, one, two. We are one shot. Oh, I wish it was a land so bad. Actually, do I just play this guy? No, I don't really want to take the damage, to be quite honest. What are you? Um, yeah, I'll kill you. Yes. So one, two, nope, that's not gonna work. Two, three, nope, that's still not gonna work. We can do this. You, get back, ya boy. This guy. Oh my god, look at this amazing. Yep, kill two guys. Could have saved you, but I don't think that's relevant. We have multiple other guys and unblockable, bro. Three, and then they have three guys on board that could be unblockable. That's totally fine. Oh, you didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, I guess we're dead. We take two. We're not dead. I'm intrigued by my not dead status. They just top take an answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make these guys unblockable, then we can't actually deal the remaining points. Yep. 
lucky, 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 lucky. I can't. What was the punt? What was there a punt? <laughs> a weird thing to say. <clears throat> I'm the guy that likes saying punt when there was no punt. I cannot call out my the streamer's misplays fast enough. Not sure what the punt was there, but all right. Frank, I'm gonna need you to acknowledge my fortune here. What was your what happened? What happened, Elk Terrace? I went 12-0 this weekend. Opened Assassin's Trophies when I promos both Sultai Grix to Sultai, I guess something in the Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. So just to be clear, in the last match in the game, in the deciding ma in the deciding game, they had the one flyer they needed, and we didn't have uh, we we draw a, a fifth fourteenth land instead of a creature, and um, yep, go to one. Can I assume you will kill me somehow? You have one card. They put two card on top of their library with the... <sighs> it's going to be a land. Of course it is going to be a land. Why wouldn't it be a land? Why wouldn't it be a land? I don't understand. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. See, again, like we have a lot of land here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In order to play and get back this guy, um, we need eight. And then in order to equip, we need 11 total. And we have 10 total. So... They kept two cards on top. Like, this is actually ridiculous. They always have it. They, they kept two cards on top. So, like, the odds of them not having it is pretty slim. So, it's got to be a removal spell, I presume. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Like, there's no way you don't keep it. However, you did do that before you knew we were getting rid of your unblockable guy. So maybe they put something else on the top? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. They don't have it. Wow. So what happened was they priced our guy, Price of Fame, when they still had this guy on board. So they might have been like, okay, well, we have Lethal on board. We can attack for three, unblockable. It's fine. They put something irrelevant on top or whatever, right? Then we end up killing the blocking guy, and their plan changes, right? So now they don't have a way to deal with this, and they don't have an unblockable guys. And unblockable guys. That's uh, solid English. But that seems to be what might have happened there. Crushing Canopy almost seems main deckable in this format. Like, not for the enchantment part, but... If we brought this in against the Boros deck, like, that might have been our downfall. Like, maybe that was our misplay. We should have just brought these in against the Boros deck. But I don't think we saw that many flyers up until the last game. Like, we didn't see any of the Legionnaires. We didn't see the double two threes. Either way, I'm bringing them in now. This card is so slow. It's fine but i think it's i think it's too slow i think you're too slow shove junior have a good afternoon buddy or a night or you know whatever you want to have two luck bucks who had the luck bucks did we have the luck bucks or did they have the luck bucks whose luck bucks do they belong to i'm gonna board in one we only saw like two floaters two floaty boys
This hand's not bad. We have a district guide, so any land uh, gets us there. We also have glaive. And certain. Yeah, this, this hand actually seems pretty good. So, <laughs> that was a good draw. Our opponent's like, I'm going to play Sultai. And then I'm like, well, buddy, do you know who I am? Do you even know who I am? Say my name. Say my name, say my name. This is Passwall Adept. Gonna make it again. No, it's not good. It's not. It's not ideal. Oof. Huh. Yeah, that ain't bad. Yeah, that ain't bad. I guess we could actually play Dark Blade Adept and then just bounce this idiot next turn. Let's do that. I like that better than this guy when we have lands in hand. I can also double block. Do they, do they have a trick? I don't know. Now, now I don't care. Now I'm double blocking for sure. Now I'm not. When no one is around you, say maybe I love you. Say my name, say my name. This guy has Trample? No, that's good. That's good. I'm tempted to play this because I can't do two other things. I could play this and this. But it doesn't really net us anything. I'm just going to go here and go Guildgate. Guildgate. And we'll just pass here. Undreamt Tuna, what's going on? Moan Frere. Yeah, we're just blocking here. I mean, like, this guy's not going to be doing anything uh, more eventful than that. We could bounce it. Yeah, that card's annoying, too. Why are they developing their, their board so much better than we are? What's that about? What's that? What's the deal with their board development? How big is this guy? 3-3? Three, three? Is that good? I don't think so. It does block all the things. This feels like a game we should be able to take back. We could play this guy, get another land, and then just play this guy afterward. Two, two, three, three. Block here, block here. That actually seems good. What is this? All right, you're, this is just a three, three that you're gonna remove X counters to to shoot a thing. That's actually fine. That's the best thing on the entire internet. Man, that is that is something. What about human nature movies, though? I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what's going on in the chat right now. Um, we can also play this guy and this guy, and then we can set ourselves up for some sweet blocks. Uh, and we can get a gate. I like that better, actually. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Get the last gate. Black, blue... Other agent, play the gate, and then we can pass. If this guy wants to attack, we can double block. I'm fine with that. Makes the, the lurcher better. Oh, I got a little guild gate. Look at my guild gate. Well, what just happened there? Can't be blocked? Sure. That is a fine use of your mana. See my glaive, see my glaive. Look at all my creatures gonna equip. I, I can't make a rhyme with that. One, two, three. Yeah, so we can actually equip one, two, and then still keep up unexplained Dissy. <laughs> That's old Dissy. All right, we're gonna play this. One, two, three. Put it on the weakest link, I believe. I'm going to attack with both of these, and I'm actually going to do something pretty controversial here. I'm going to bounce you, so you can't actually block. Uh, you can go to the Grave Mickeyardums. And if you want to just trade here, that's fine. Otherwise, you're taking eight and we're drawing a land. Like you do. Play it. See, that was a good turn. That was a good turn. Our deck is powerful. This sword is OP. If you have the right, if you got, if you got the right gates, right? If you got the gates, I got the... 
power buff. Hmm. Dead weight, huh? Makes this guy a little stronger, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think you do. Ooh, blood operative. One, two, three. We have eight mana. So five and this guy. Yeah, that seems good. One, two, three, four, five. Watcher in the mist. Uh, I'll keep canopy on top. Put this in the graveyard. And if you want me to eat both guys, that's fine. Going to six here seems pretty bad. I will kill both of these guys. And our Rhizome Lurcher gets absolutely humongous next turn. Alright, so they have a 3-3. Three, three. We can block it. Seems fine. Is two lockets too many lockets? I don't think too many. I don't think two is too many. I, I'm not even a fan of one. Really? I don't love it. But, uh, yeah, Glaive is pretty unbelievable, right? Seven power, Vigilance, Menace. Yeah, this card is bonkers. This is an uncommon? Yeah, that's, that's a good uncommon. Five, five for four. Yep. This is the end. We have two lethal guys with our unblockable dudes. You have to play a removal spell for this guy and this guy. Good games. All right. Deck seems good. This is the end. Let's do it. I will play first. The end. I will keep this hand 1,000% of the time. Glaive on Blood Operative seems... such a good draw oh the draw was so good Alan did you consider why you're a glaive and not a great sword did you ever think about that no because you only think about yourself that's why um we don't have any way, without any way to, like, scry. This seems very good. We play this guy. Next turn we play another Guildgate. We equip. And then we have, what, a 5-1 Menace Vigilance creature with lifelink? Oh, God. Oh, my God. And seeing two forests does not instill any confidence that they're going to be able to block. I'm sure they're going to play a black or a white here and then just kill this guy. There's the white. And... Okay, they didn't do it. Oh, they're going to prey upon. Are they praying upon? No. That's sorcery. Let's let's get our our bane slayer on. Wow, that's brutal. Gross. Ouch. <laughs> Correct. 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 It's pronounced Glave. This is the old Glave of the guild pack. Mm -mm. Don't do anything crazy. Um, that's sad. I don't feel... I has a sad. 
I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. And now we have black, black, green, green for the find broker. Can this guy attack? No? Okay. Well, that's sad. Glave can mean sword, but it comes from gladius in Latin, which is also not what it is. And then the accepted idea for what a glave is now is a polearm. <laughs> Alan, shut up. Okay. Okay. That's what I think about that. And Alan, I love you. You're my favorite. I got a ticket to see Venom and I'm interested in seeing. I am also interested in both of those things. I'm interested in uh, how it does. Seeing it, though. One All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move, move it on over. Yeah, this card's busted. One nerd buck. Kerwood, thanks. <laughs> we would have also accepted one Alan got wrecked buck. Because that's also what happened. Oh, fling of flavin. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Professor Frank. It's Professor Frank, I believe, not Dr. Frank. Uh, I don't know if he has his doctorate. I imagine he does have his doctorate. Um... Yeah, you put the glaive in on the Hoovenberg. Yeah, <laughs> that's fantastic. That's good. That's very good. Ooh. Ooh. My guess, my my best hypothesis is that uh, there was a general commission and they put a weapon on the art that was rather generic. <laughs> Whatever, Alan. Whatever you say, buddy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's be aggressive. I'll deal you six. This sad man can't do anything with his life. Oh, what? I don't understand. I'm confused. I don't want to play either of these right now. This is a 2-2 two -two and this is a 3-4 that doesn't get anything back. Do we need to play anything right now? I guess not. I guess we're in good shape, but they have one, two, three, and four. Huh? They have seven going on eight mana. We do need some. We need some anything in the trash can. This guy going to the trash can is like choice. Skyline Scout. Two Skyline. I don't know. Turn uh, turn seven Skyline Scout is might not, might not be where you want to be. I don't want it. Uh, I read that already. Okay. So just making sure I was catching up with chat. And then it turns out I was already caught up. We did, we did good. We did good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lands, okay. Wow, look at that little nerd. That's actually fine for us because I want you to put the counter on here and then like double block. Okay, great. Put him in the graveyard. Then I can actually play a uh, fine broker or rhizome lurcher and feel like it's not terrible. Oh. Oh, I see. Can't you fight here instead? Isn't that better? It's not better. Spoiler alert, it's not better. If we hit a swamp here, it's actually pretty good. We can attack with this guy. No, it's never mind. It's not it's not as good as I thought it would be, but a lot of it's a lot of agents right one two 
three. Then we have green. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, you're going to block with these two. It's fine. Which means we traded Prey Upon, Skyline Scout, Skyline Scout, Iron Shell Beetle for two Dark Blade Agents. Um, and they have no cards in hand, so. And I'm pretty sure we just played 4 4 Rhizome, Rhizome Lurcher here. Yeah, this is okay. Main, Lurchy. <laughs> yeah, this Glaive has been MVP in these matches. It just makes every one of your creatures a huge threat. Even if it's plus two, plus oh, the menace is insane. And being able to keep a guy back on Vigilance is pretty insane. And we did that thing. Win the game, win the game. No one is around you. Didn't see anything worthy of... Actually, we did see we did see a crushing canopy target. Yep, going to submit. I'll go to 41 pretty easily. Well, the sand is pretty bad. I'm going to ship it. Not a fan. All right, this is better. Also, if we can hit, uh, nah, keeping that. That was a great hit. All right, so we got turn. Turn three, either one of these, which is nice. Yep, this place is apparent. Except old Frank Lepore, he just sits there. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Golgari Gilgate walking over. Okay, that's a thing. How does this compare to OG Ravnica drafts? I have no idea. This is my first one. Um, actually tempted to bounce this guy just because it's good value here. And we don't take three, and they have to replay it next turn, and it's got a counter. All the reasons. I want to put this in the graveyard. I could care less about hitting a guild gate here when I have multiple guys. Yeah, all right. I'm probably going to go Dark Blade. We don't need a land here, and we can play Bats next turn. Gonna breathe on it first. They're gonna fight? Oh. Oh, that doesn't seem good for me. That card's great. We can gain control of their beetle. Doesn't, that also doesn't seem super good. Probably just going to play the bat here. I'll trade with either. I mean, I'll trade with this guy for sure. <laughs> oh, God. Spooky, scary skeletons and rivers down your spine. That's a good jam.
Oh my god, really? You're going to be bonds in all my things? They're stuck on three here on turn five. They missed two land drops. I wish I had another land. Because we can go District Guide into... We can just steal this guy. I don't think that's great, though. I'm pretty sure we're just playing this guy. If we hit one land, we can go... Well, no, because we need to do a thing. Eh, well... MTG Skinner, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'll get in there. <sighs> this is good bat. This is good bat uh, husbandry at your... All right, Hunter, listen. Knock it off. 100% blocking here. This guy just comes back, right? We just stay at 15 and eat a guy. Good deal. Guildgate, huh? A guildgate, huh? We're going to play this guy, and then maybe next turn we surveil, get something back, get this guy back. I don't think we're getting anybody else back, but, you know, what can you do? That's what he says when he has nothing else to say. Two, four for four. All right. Boring. I'm actually tempted to con to con connive that. That seems pretty good. We can also just surveil, try to get something back, get blood operative back. These guys get death touch. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. That seems strong. If we can put something stronger in the graveyard, that's even cooler. Three cards is a lot, so. Uh oh wow, that's actually sweet. Uh, graveyard. Put them all in the graveyard. Uh, we'll get back this. Get back you. Fine Broker will hit. Uh, probably Crawl Swarm here. And I will get this back. Yep. And now both these guys have Death Touch. This guy is strong enough to block everything. Yeah, that was a pretty cool turn. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing about these guys. These cards seem very, very strong. Wow, you're going to let me draw two cards. Play a land. All right. Did you guys hear that? They're coming for you. That guy is not going to do it. Do we have any way to surveil? Not yet. Midnight Reaper seems pretty good here. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana, so we can just play Crawl Swarm Midnight Reaper. That's probably the play. Without any way to surveil, like their blocks are just, just good. Two, four block here, one, four block here. They take two. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we only have seven. All right. Well, that's worse. 
I'm probably just going to route here. He says before definitely routing. Uh, get these guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lands. Uh, there's no profitable attacks here, unfortunately. Okay, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> right. All right, let's do that. If they're... Uh, I'm probably going to keep both of these. Put on top, put on top. We want to draw this so we can cast it if they if these guys get through. Oh god, even if they don't if they don't get through, then we're gonna Oh, this is actually really busted. So blocking here seems good, and then like take two. And then we still draw two cards. Yikes. Yikes. Oh boy. I guess we draw one then. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, now I'm just going to play Blood Operative. Keep up status. Let's get rid of... Scout, I guess? I don't know. doesn't really matter. I'm not sure how many white-green cards get things back. They're all two drops, though, so if there's a card that gets... I don't know, two drops back. I think we're winning. Until they play something busted like Divine Visitation. Oh god, this is such a blowout. Oh, two for one city. Ugh, cringe. Oh, and that's all it takes. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this draft. And you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both the links are in the YouTube description below. I'm not leaving if you guys are watching on Twitch. I'm just having a YouTube video, as uh, you guys should know. And if you want to support me for as little as a dollar a month, you can do so on Patreon. That link is in the description below. You get articles and uh, podcasts and things like that. So thank you guys so much. Really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time.